it's amazing to me how many young men out there don't know how to tie a Windsor knot in their necktie. Well, it's true that many workplaces have switched their attire to more casual wear. The tie and sport coat never go out of style. True, the details change, but the classic Windsor knot has been with us for over 100 years. The Windsor knot is a thick, wide, and triangular tie knot that projects confidence. It would be your knot of choice for presentations, job interviews, or even courtroom appearances. <laughs> My good buddy Ivan Boski, he wore one when they sent it some... Uh, Let's talk about more pleasant things. And it's actually quite easy to do. So, first you want to go to the mirror. Now, anyone can use this tie knot to tie his tie, but it looks especially well on men with longer necks as its wide form shortens the perceived height of the neck a little bit. Now, the wide end should extend about 12 inches below the narrow end. Cross the wide end over to the narrow end, see? Now, let's call the wide end W and the narrow end N. See that? Now bring the wide end W through the loop between the collar and your tie, then back down. Pull the wide end W underneath the narrow end N and to the right back through the loop and then to the right again so that the wide end W is inside out. You see that? Yeah. Bring the wide end W across the front from right to left. Pull the wide end W up through the loop again. Bring the wide end W down through the knot in front using both hands. Tighten the knot and draw it up to the collar. Not too tight. Now that's a sharp Windsor knot. Don't lose that twinkle. Up next on the Connecticut Gorilla Show, Connecticut visits Texas Death Row.